Hey guys, welcome to the 1.49 dev server in War Thunder. This is an absolutely huge update, so I'm going to be splitting up a lot of videos here to show you guys each and every nation, all the different planes. You can go click on the video of your interest to see which planes or vehicles have been released in that particular nation. This one that I'm going to be showing you right now is the American planes. In 1.49, the Americans get four new planes. They get the P-51 Mustang, the AD-2, the P-47 M1RE or Bostwick's Thunderbolt and they also get the P-51 D-10. Notice how two of these are premium aircraft and the other two are just standard ones. We'll start off from lowest to highest. The P-51 looks like an absolutely amazing plane because check this out. Battle rating 3.0 four Hispano cannons. Holy balls, this literally might become one of the best planes at battle rating 3.0 in the entire game because of that heavy armament on this plane. It'd still be interesting to see what it's actually like in an actual match. Is it going to be kind of heavier and relatively bad at turning like the other Mustangs? Who knows? We'll actually have to see that in actual matches, but otherwise on paper, this plane looks absolutely amazing with those armaments, considering it has four guns and also 500 ammo to him. Wow, that's actually quite a bit. It does not get any sort of secondary weapons, no bombs or rockets or anything like that, but still with that armament, that should be sufficient enough to be dealing mass amounts of damage. Next up is the AD-2 Sky Raider plane, in my opinion, that's already dead before it's even come out of the hangar. Kind of unfortunate because it looks so cool, but check this out. Battle rating of 6.7 at rank 4 means that it's probably going to see jets all the time, and unfortunately it's a prop plane with relatively low specifications and stats to its flight performances. Take a look at this. It's not fully upgraded, but getting a general idea of how slow it actually is and how long it takes to turn and how bad it is at climbing, this plane is going to be really, really just dead before it even gets out of the hangar. Has two 20mm uh, cannons to it, which is kind of nice, but still lackluster at the high tiers, 400 ammo to it. And I guess the real place where it shines is the fact that it's meant to be more of like a sort of fighter bomber. It's supposed to take out targets. Unfortunately, there's no exact role that these planes are supposed to fill in in War Thunder at the moment, especially at higher tiers when you're coming up against jets. But anyway, it has secondary armaments here and tons of different ones, such as... Mixer, mixtures of rockets and also bombs and even torpedoes so exactly living up to its name as a bomber fighter and also check this out it doesn't look like there's any upgrades here where you have to unlock those secondary weapons it actually looks like they're all unlocked right from the get-go which is a very nice feature to have unfortunately that battle rating is really gonna make it held back Next is the Bostwick's Thunderbolt, which is another plane, in my opinion, that's dead before it's even gotten out of the hangar. It's a premium plane, battle rating 5.7, tier 4, makes it a very high battle rating and re rank as well for the Thunderbolts. Comparing it to the other Thunderbolts that are currently in the game, its flight specifications are pretty much exactly the same as the other Thunderbolts, if not even worse, such as rate of climb, at least on paper. Armaments are near enough exactly the same. And in terms of the modifications, you can unlock rockets, bombs, yada yada, and the like. But like I said, this plane is kind of lackluster to be at such a high battle rating here and high rank. It really is just going to suffer. Look at this over here. P-47s, 3.0 battle rating, 3.0, and near enough exactly the same sort of specs. Unfortunately, I don't see this one making a big splash. And then we have Wetmore's Mustang, which is pretty much exactly the same as the other Mustangs in the game in terms of flight specs and also armaments. It does have a slightly higher ammo load compared to some of the other Mustangs with 2080 bullets right here. But otherwise, near enough exactly the same. But because it's a premium plane, it gets extra premium bonuses by that plus 100% reward bonus. In terms of secondary armaments, you can get quite a lot of nice little thingies, such as rockets and also bombs to work with. So if that's your sort of thing, if you want to go into a fighter role with an extra bit of firepower and losing some flight performance, then this Mustang will do you good. But that is it for the Americans with their airplanes. What are you guys most looking forward to? Leave your comments in the comment box below. But until the next video of the 1.49 dev server, this is Krebs and I'll catch you guys next time. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we blasting off into the ozone. The way we kick it in the dome.
Joe is local, we show the 